Hi and hello. In this video, we'll be seeing an enhanced Bluemix mobile dashboard which you can use to design, connect, build, secure, and publish your mobile app. So, we'll start at uh, Bluemix.net, which is our IBM cloud, and log in with my IBM credentials. You can, if you have a Bluemix account, you can log in using your email ID or Bluemix ID. I'll enter my password for a secured login. Now I am on my Bluemix dashboard where you will be seeing all the Cloud Foundry applications and all Bluemix services. If I click on the left pane and navigate to mobile, now we are on our mobile dashboard and you have three options on the left pane. One is getting started, projects and services. Let's click on getting started. Getting started is your landing page where you will see how to create a project, documentation, tutorial and other uh, starters available. Projects is where we exactly start creating uh, a mobile project. These are the existing projects which I have already have. You can click on create project and new, create a new uh, project. You have two options here, UI starters and code starters. UI starters are based on the different kind of UI you are looking for and it has different uh, business templates like business directory, employee directory, logistics and other uh, useful templates. Under code starters you have uh, basic, cloud sync, object sync, tone analyzer, Watson services and weather. For this sample I'll use employee directory. I'll call it as my employee directory project. Click on create to create the project. So once it runs into the landing page on the left pane you have multiple options like project overview, UI builder, push notifications, analytics, authentication, data and code. You can add push notifications, analytics and also build where you can get the code in three flavors Objective-C, Android and Swift. Let's click on UI Builder to design our app. So as we have already chosen a UI starter kit, you will have uh, multiple options available. You can add uh, new data sources if required. These are the existing data sources which has come with the template. You have an option to add cloud, local, cloud end, Google Sheets, Excel online and Google Drive. As we already have one, we'll skip that step. Navigation is basically changing the layouts, the view of your application. And parallelly you can see it, how it looks on Android and also iOS. User access is basically the authentication side of it, just by toggling the button you'll be able to add a user just to test the authentication part of it and you can add multiple user email IDs and passwords setting is basically your splash screen and other uh, requirements required for your app like bundle identifier, google api key, description of your app, logo, look and feel of it you can add the IBM Mobile First Foundation here by toggling the button there. Once you toggle, you will see a new item added on the left pane with called Foundation. You can choose the version of Mobile First Foundation you are looking for. Let's create a IBM Mobile First Foundation service on Bluemix. Click on services and uh, say create mobile which creates the mobile first foundation service for us. It will take us to a page where you can see all the mobile services on Bluemix. We will select mobile foundation. Uh, as we are calling our app as my employee directory, let's call this as my mobile foundation. 
click on create so it will take us to my mobile foundation service page This is a landing page where you can start a basic server or you can go for an advanced configuration like changing the topology, security and other server configurations. Let's go with a basic server. Click on start basic server button. Though it says it will take 10 minutes but it quickly comes up. So it's a server with size of small 1 GB memory that's your server route with username and password let's copy and paste the server route here if you are using HTTPS then use port number 443 and if you are using HTTP then use port number 80 select the version for we will go with the latest version which is 8.0 runtime will be MFP username is admin and password you can copy it from your service there once you tab out your foundation service is created. So you have even an option to publish your app directly from our screen to iOS and Android. Screens, there will be multiple options to change the layouts and as you change the layout you can see a preview on the right both on your Android and the iOS device. Basically how it looks on your device in real time. So we have designed an app using UI Builder. The most important thing for user interaction is push notifications which you can follow the instructions by clicking on the instructions link. It's a step by step instructions on how to create the push notification service, how to configure it. It's pretty easy and straight. Analytics more important for your mobile app to understand how your users are using it. You can follow the same instructions simple instructions and add analytics to this so once your app is designed your app is built your app is secured using IBM mobile first foundation service we need to generate the code right you'll have three options here iOS Objective-C code Android which gives native Java iOS Swift which is pretty new Swift is the new language from Apple you have multiple options for uh, each code base for Android you can download the APK download with QR code distribute among your team similarly iOS Objective-C and Swift you can deploy directly from this screen to mobile foundation service thank you very much my name is Vidya Sagar I am your developer advocate thank you